Hi, I'm John Lockenmeyer. I'm a Honeywell field application engineer. Today, I'd like to introduce you to Honeywell's SEK002 sensor evaluation kit and give you a quick demonstration. This kit can evaluate four different types of Honeywell sensors. These include our Humidicon humidity sensors, our HPM particle sensors, our ABP amplified basic pressure sensors, and our MPR micropressure sensors. This kit is comprised of an Arduino baseboard, the Honeywell SEK002 shield board, and a USB 2.0 male-to-male Type A to Type B cable. The software needed for this kit is the SEK002 sensor evaluation kit software installed and running on a computer, the X-Loader firmware, which is programmed onto the Arduino's microcontroller, and a new virtual COM port driver that the computer requires to interface the Arduino baseboard. The data sheet, software files, including detailed instructions on how to set up the SEK002 can be found on Honeywell's website. Now let's take a closer look at the kit. I have this one configured for the following sensors. Here is our Humidicon HIH 8121-021-001. This is a 3.3 volt I squared C humidity and temp sensor with a relative humidity accuracy of 2% and a temperature accuracy of 0.5%. Here is our Amplified Basic Pressure Sensor, ABP DJJ001 PDSA3. This is a 3.3 volt SPI 1 PSI differential pressure sensor with full scale span accuracy of 0.25% and a total error band accuracy of 1.5%. Please note, this evaluation kit is designed to only interface our SPI and I2C uh, amplified basic pressure sensors. It's not designed to interface our analog uh, output uh, ABP analog basic pressure sensors. Here is our HPM A115SO. This is a five volt UART based uh, laser-based particle sensor that monitors PM 2.5 and calculates PM 10. This sensor is designed to run a minimum of 20,000 hours and is 15% accurate. This is over twice the accuracy of other LED-based uh, particle sensors on the market. And finally, here is our uh, micropressure MPRSS001 PG0002A. This is a 3.3 volt I squared C 1 PSI gauge pressure sensor with full scale span accuracy of 0.25% and a total band accuracy of 1.5% after auto zero. Now let's connect the sensor, this kit, to my laptop and run through a few examples. I've launched the SEK002 sensor evaluation tool and the kit is laying across my keyboard. On the opening page has a drop down menu to select the sensor type, the sensor series, and the sensor part number. The tool also stores recently tested part numbers so you can quickly select that part number with your cursor so you, to bypass the above selection menu. This is very handy if you're running multiple evaluation tests on the same device. Let's test the Humidicon HIH 8121-21001. Once the sensor is selected, the tool launches another page which graphically illustrates the sensor in use. For this device, the humidity reading is shown in blue with the range profile 
on the left. And the temperature is shown in red with the range profile on the right. I'm going to test this sensor by breathing humid warm air onto the sensor with this flexible straw. Here we go. As you can see, our Humidicon sensors have a very fast response time. This tool has a bunch of additional features. You can access some of these features by clicking the gear icon on the upper right of the menu. Here you can select the data format, whether it reads Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can also enable the tool to store the readings of, onto a spreadsheet. These additional features are not just for the Humidicon, but for all the sensors that the tool supports. Now let's examine an ABP pressure sensor. Let's use the quick select feature for the ABP DJJN001 PDS A3. Similar to our Humidicon test, the pressure reading will be shown in blue with the range profile on the left and the temperature will be shown in red with the range profile on the right. I'm going to use a straw to test the sensor by blowing air into the ports. Since this, is, this device is a dual ported differential pressure sensor, I'll blow air into each of the ports. We will see that the pressure goes positive when I blow into port A and negative when I blow into port B. Now let's examine a micropressure sensor. I'll use the quick select feature for the MPR LS0001 PG0002A. This kit supports multiple packages for the different sensor types. It supports both SIP and SOIC for the Humidicon devices. It supports DIP, SMT, and leadless SMT for the ABP family. When testing a micropressure device, you can solder the 5x5 mil package directly onto the shield board, or you could use a Honeywell micropressure daughter board. With this, you simply jumper the daughter board to the shield board with jumper wires. Similar to the testing technique that I used with the ABP, I'll use the straw to blow air into the pressure's port. Like the ABP, the pressure will be shown in blue with the range profile on the left, and temperature will be shown in red with the range profile shown on the right. Now let's test an HPM particle sensor. The HPMA 115S0 <clears throat> requires a Honeywell cable assembly to attach it to the shield board. The part number of this is 32332297-01. This particle sensor measures PM2.5 and calculates PM10. These are standards that define a range of airborne contamination and particle sizes from 0.25 micrometers to 10 micrometers. This sensor detects particle sizes and concentration levels in micrograms per meter cubed. This sensor is not designed to detect large household dust. Household dust is not considered a biohazard. This sensor detects things like mold, allergens, bacteria, fly ash, oil smoke, tobacco smoke, and smog. These things can pass through uh, the lung barrier. I have a mixture of silt. 
and I'll expose this silt to the sensor's input port. The smaller particles of silt are about two micrometers in size, and the detector, the sensor will detect this. So the sensor has detected the silt. I've removed the silt. Now the sensor is going to be ramping down and go back to its steady state condition. Well, this concludes my SEK002 introduction and demo. I hope you found it interesting and informative and will consider using a Honeywell sensor on one of your future projects. Thank you.